Welcome to Global Sports Injury Conclave, an initiative of Dr. Dayal Foundation and powered by Elite Sports Management. During the lockdown, we planned webinars to educate and uh, aware people all across, especially the cricketers and the fraternity on a whole. 42 panelists, 15 webinars, 12 specialists, six countries, one mission, injury-free sports ecosystem. We spoke on issues of fitness, workouts, injury management, sports diet, increasing abilities, skill development, effectiveness of gym, sports uh, uh, management, importance of self-motivation and how to get mentally tough. And we had large set of speakers and experts. Hope it was a good session. Follow all the sessions on YouTube. Thank you. that if the lockdown uh, finishes and the regular life starts for a player, what kind of roadblock can we encounter and how would they manage it? The, the topic as said is all about how do we self-motivate, how the players should self-motivate and all about mental strength and mental toughness towards the lockdown and, and when we go towards the normal playing days. Yeah, I think my advice is to use this break as a, as a real refresher to re refresh the hunger for the game. I, I think, you know, especially in India, there's a lot of cricket that's been played and maybe we just lose the hunger. Um, I think you now, you fully appreciate, I mean, I, I played cricket for South Africa, the first team in 27 years, they were sporting isolation. So if I tell you it was a privilege to play for my country, it really was, because there was no country for. So I think going back with that same appreciation for the game that we sometimes take for granted possibly as a player, I think is really important because we've had it taken away from us for a while. So yeah. if, if we can be appreciative of the opportunity that we got, we will work a lot harder when that opportunity comes around again. So or we'll exactly. certainly take that opportunity with both hands. Uh, injury prevention is part of your training protocols and uh, also work on other parameters of fitness which uh, an individual or a sports professional has uh, negated or didn't have time we don't we do not act rightly because we are excellent in fact we act excellent uh, ex we achieve excellence by acting rightly that is one of the phenomenal quote from uh, plato which is very apt uh, to any walks of life physical coaching mental coaching or technical coaching never forget their history we're all surrounded by stressful situations and we're all surrounded by fear at the moment and yeah. fear and stress both lower immunity and yeah. because we're surrounded by uh, you know particularly uh, difficult virus <coughs> and target people with, in, with compromised immunity systems then one of the best ways to improve immunity is mm. through meditation is through breathing particularly mm. some of your ancient yogic breathing practices so pranayam analonga lom couple buddies all of these but everything is in life everything is very very simple it's we people are making very complicated Coaching is very simple. We make it complicated. The physical fitness, you know, which is very, very important part of your life. Even now, it's very important. But we can make it complicated. If you can't take out your time for your own physical fitness, I think it's not worth living. A lot of people ask me straight away, uh, thanks a lot. Nishant asked me for my hat trick thing. But uh, people ask me for that Javed Mia, that last ball. Oh, no, I'm going Shraja. to come next. <laughs> yeah, hey, you're a nice guy. You're a nice guy. <laughs> I must appreciate that. that at least you, uh, you're the guy who came straight to the hat trick. It's big hitting ability, uh, Nishan. Always comes from uh, in your natural way of playing cricket. Uh, you can't um, come uh, uh, like um, uh, when you play, starting your cricketing career uh, in. in um, uh, like uh, when you play in school cricket, uh, like example, uh, the my coach realized that I'm, I'm a cricketer who 
playing a little bit of attacking cricket, big hitting cricket. Uh, the other cricketers are my schoolmates are indifferent. So the make sure that your coach let you play your natural game. If you've got a strong core, it will look after your banks. So yeah. that's such a major issue, I think, for quick bowling over the last two decades or so is really much core stability and looking after that. And Nish, I think for a lot of us doing different things. I look at it um, as two different aspects, Nishan. Number right. one is, um, you know, under general or normal circumstances, mental toughness is all, is all about focusing on your own abilities, on, your, um, on, on the talent you have, uh, to perform at the right time uh, for the team which you are representing. Um, so this is one aspect of, uh, of, of mental toughness, not allowing the environment to control you, focusing only on the controllables, having full faith and remaining focused uh, to the world. What we felt in a hospital that vitamin C and vitamin D are going to play a very important part. We have yes. been given supplements, we are having yes. fresh oranges, we are having that avla for vitamin C. So yeah. let us start preparing a body to fight it out. But anyway, you know, but as far as drifting is concerned, you know, I remember, uh, you know, when I started uh, playing cricket in the beginning, I used to have a high arm action where my arm used to come from close to my ear. But over yeah. the years, I realized that, you know, instead of that 12 o'clock arm, it should have, it should be around 11, 30, 11, uh, where yeah. it is a little round arm issue so that you can, you know, you can get that drift. So that was one way of getting a drift. But I think if you're mentally there, mentally uh, strong, and you keep yourself mentally fit, uh, I think that is uh, an easier way of coming back quicker than the others. And I think that is what uh, good players are. Uh, there's a, that is the difference between good players and great players. For me, my cricket stretched over, what, uh, 26 years. So the first time I represented Tamil Nadu, uh, the average warm-up was a jumping jack or a run around the ground. Uh, and uh, there was not, you know, the, the warm up was very different. Sometimes uh, I think uh, a decent amount of pessimism is actually reality. Too much optimism actually you lose a sense of reality. Oh, yeah, yeah, true, true, true. true. I totally agree, totally agree. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, leaders and captains and lead, whether it's uh, with practice sessions or with your batting, with your keeping, off the field, nutrition, gym. So behave like a leader, and uh, that's what we are. We are. We, we are leaders. I think the key, though, is that you just don't stop. The key for me is that you have to maintain some maintain some level of workload to make sure that you just don't drop off. You know, athletes work very, very hard to uh, achieve a certain level of strength, fitness, agility, you know, reactivity, power, whatever, all those different parameters of fitness. Choosing your exercises carefully. You don't do things which look like it should belong in circus select. Another, another important thing. Keep the main thing the main thing. I think uh, they should start following a plan which is post-competition plan, which is more like, you know, the energy requirement is lesser because you need more carbohydrate and more proteins before uh, the competition and during the competition. They wash their hands of supplementation and they, they publish the Dietary Health and Supplement Education Act every every year and then kind of update to you and what supplements do, but they'll never actually... What's responsible for immunity is your micronutrients and making sure you make sure making sure you're topped up um, on your vitamins and minerals every day is 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 is, is fa I mean both the water soluble and fat soluble vitamins are are super important. The fat soluble ones, the vitamin A and D especially, uh, for immunity are massive. So uh, a swimmer has to use a certain group of muscles. He should try and focus on those groups of muscles to keep himself fit and regulate his activities rather than do something fancy which he just sees on the internet. Because what I tell my patients is that if you are doing something which is painful, that is nature telling you not to do it, so please don't do it. You should understand is the, the word aerobic essentially means uh, related to air. Now, air is not per se that air is what you need. It is the oxygen in the air that we're talking about. You know, Sabha, uh, it, the back problem is not primarily because you guys bend and stretch for hours on end uh, in the fields. It is primarily because everyone uh, tends to go into a bad posture, which is not good. So you need to understand as to are they replenishing in their lungs it's very key going at going to that balcony or that window and getting that fresh air one of the main things what uh, ayurveda or the natural sciences of india 
wants uh, everyone to follow is the the best ability to absorb and to, to allocate your nutrition in the right way and gut is the main uh, it has always been a main aspect in ayurveda ayurveda gives huge importance to gut i see covid the covid is unfortunate thing that has happened but it is a blessing in disguise never ever i am sure the whole world every no individual has got ever this opportunity of that pause that interregnum to really sit back and think about those five w's and one h as i call it what why where when who and how i i have been telling people that if you have not used this two months or three months that you are at home i think you are not going to use it ever positive thoughts lead to positive language very interesting whether you are speaking to somebody or not you are speaking to yourself all the time you are awake what you tell to yourself is what is going to reinforce can we can we hear that again the the, the welcoming of the auction please good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the IPL player auction i'm richard maddy the auctioneer for today superb there fantastic there's the trademark and everybody loves it whenever i see them they want me to say you know, it is very very important for all the sports person to do something at this stage because you know otherwise you tend to put on weight you tend to lose your reflexes so it is very very important that you keep working hard and you keep doing something or the other to keep your reflexes going on so mentally we are very strong enough that we have to come out of it and uh, as indians as we know that you know we come out of any situation whether it is you know uh, sometimes uh, say bombing has been done here or there is some uh, earthquake but uh, indian people are so strong that we come out of it and then we become strong so more you know basically we are we are very strong people so we will come out of it mentally so this lockdown is teaching everyone to be strong enough because aap ghar pe reh rahe hain aap apne friends se nahi mil sakte hain aap aap bahar ja ke training nahi kar sakte the best is i always say that if you know your strength then you can bank on your strength but the most important thing is if you know your weakness you will always try and avoid making those mistakes when you're playing a game so i think the best part about learning for spinner is to understand your strengths and weaknesses first because when you are approaching a game especially a high intensity pressure game at the international level you are expected to just deliver first that uh, for the selection process also that the keeper who gets more runs will get selected yes we can say that there's a uh, batting is very important but they should not uh, neglect wicket keeping they'll do a lot of core strength they'll do a lot of um, back stability drills Thank you. um so when the when the ball is going to the crease obviously takes off and lands it's important that the, the, the body weight doesn't collapse that back knee um so they do a lot of um back foot and front foot stability drills in fitness uh, which is a ground fitness and uh, improving their skill sets um be aware of things don't uh, complicate things so multilateral training if there are parents watching multilateral training is something where you should be introducing your child to different sports at a very young age whereby the movement quality of that individual of that young individual is improved and it improves and it it def definitely will carry forward uh, there is going to be a carry over effect into the sport into a chosen sport which is going to choose later on down the line we are focused on more of the balance and stability work and at the same time movement pattern we are working on because we need to consider this thought as well that like already andrew said that that they might not have enough space as well at home or so we need to be creative with the they can step up on the sofa or use a chair at home someone have got the bands at home or this also we can accordingly tailor those programs for them though a lot of people uh, are trying to follow different regimes they are also following uh protocol being shown on um, social media mental toughness for me is 
by definition, the ability to control your thoughts and your actions and not let them control you. To really have that sense of purpose and planning to stay true to your game and to focus on what you have to do and not let that pressure or outside um, influence really take you in a direction that you're not wanting to go. Well, uh, I think my one-liner would be to focus on three aspects uh, every day, body, beauty, and brain. I think if, uh, you know, giving an example for body is obviously conditioning, doing some physical exercise. For beauty is to ensure that you, uh, you look good, not just uh, feel good. And uh, for your brain, probably pick up a book like this and read it or something. Uh, Finding the gap. You have to be consistent, you have to be mature enough to understand and as Nilesh Bhai said, you have to have that adaptability to adapt the situations. You have to understand the situations. For that, you need to play a lot of games. You have to trust yourself. It's the basics. First, I would suggest the youngsters, most important is the basics. If their basics are good, they can become good spinners. And after their basics are worked out, they should work on their mental conditioning. What has happened is, now it's 2020 generation. Now people want, you know, okay, if I'm buying a bat, I'm going to play the match in the evening or this weekend. So nobody is preparing. So all of us as manufacturers have had to change the way we are producing bats, you know, because now we know that people will, people are expecting that, that it will be a ready to play bat. It has changed. The very few people use the batting pad. Batting pad, it's not that uh, difficult. The main is batting gloves. Where you need the protection, where you where you hit more, how the players plays. It depends with the uh, basically. You need to make as per the player. If he's having one finger weak, so you have to protect that area more. Which fits them. That's the most important thing. Then comes the protection we are using. We are using the top quality plasters or paddings so that it saves them for the balls coming at the speed of 130, 150 km. So, R&Ds are always there. We are working on the leather quality, we are working on the PU, we are working on the plaster rods. So, what best we can do, we always do, we are in touch with the players, we discuss with them what extra thing they need. So, right now we are start putting a bit of gel inside the gloves, so which gives them more protection underneath the plaster rod. So that the ball doesn't hit and doesn't they doesn't feel the pains as well. Our R&D department keeps a close watch on that, and we are trying to make sure you know to adjust our gears towards your postures. But yeah. yes, having said that, postures are very important. But in my yeah. view, I have whatever I have know or I have learned is from a lot of other people as well. The main base was obviously Ramji sir and John. Any day. Yeah. Uh, they know me from ages. <laughs> if they have not controlled me the way they controlled me, I think the right advice or the, I mean, Jarkhand, when you we were talking, we spoke about uh, requesting, not advising anybody. So it will be my request to the young generation that listen to your coaches. They are there for a purpose. Uh, and spend time on, you know, spend time online and use the right uh, medium uh, to learn from the right uh, kind of coaches. So it's our responsibility. And I think I am going to request every individual who is watching this and who you want to share with, who is watch, going to watch, that please make sure you use, use this time. Please get used to visualization, <coughs> believing in yourself. You can do that. If anybody can, I can do better and I can be the very best. I can leave a legacy. So I will just request all of them to please have a good coach. And also, I think wearing too much of equipment slows down your reflexes also. Like somebody like Bradman or uh, Viv Richards or Gavaskar. Gavaskar used to use a head skull cap, but that was hardly any weight. So naturally, you had this tendency that you know you uh, your reflexes were sharper, and I think to, you knew how to move away from the you know out line of a bumper or a. You know there is a comfort level that the player has to achieve, and you know today the game is changing every hour and so. After this T20 has come in, you know I've seen players changing their gear. Frequently, you know, and when they play in overseas condition or maybe Indian conditions, there is a difference of requirement that they have. No, uh, mostly, you know, players, you know, they give a lot of feedback, you know, to the brand.